Police in Peabody have located the woman whose dogs allegedly attacked another dog in its backyard. That dog lost its eye in the attack. Now his owners are left to foot the bill. WBZ's Michelle Fisher reports now from Peabody. Peabody police have caught up with and interviewed the woman whose dogs attacked a Shih Tzu over the weekend, but the family that owns that dog is frustrated that they had to track her down in the first place. Someone with an animal with dogs, you would just walk away and not even come back to check on him. It's hurtful. For Michelle Simmons and her family, it's been a heartbreaking couple of days. Their dog, Marcus, was severely attacked in their backyard on Pierpoint Street Saturday morning. His eye socket was ripped out. It was just basically hanging by a string. A woman captured on this surveillance image was walking her dogs when one or both somehow got little Marcus through a small gap in the fence. Do you know that your dog just mauled my dog? And she, you know, she said, oh no, they were just barking at each other. Marcus's injuries required immediate medical attention. His eye and well-being were the family's main concern. I said, listen, I, I have to go to the vet right now, so leave your information with a note. Uh, by the door. Um, I'll get in touch with you later. But when the family returned home, another disappointment. The mystery woman hadn't left anything. I kept believing naively that she would come forward. A little bit of I'm sorry would have gone a long way. I can't afford it. I would have worked with you. And every time I look at him, I hurt, you know, because it's not fair. Peabody police say that right now that woman isn't facing criminal charges, but they are looking into whether or not her animals have the right registration. As for the Simmons family, they tell me that as far as they know, they're still the ones with the vet bill. Reporting in Peabody, Michelle Fisher, WBZ News.